Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Now, the pillow box itself is not mine. We sell them as a pack of 10, but the wrap is mine. However, I have to do a massive shout out to Laurie Jennings, uh, sorry, Laurie Jennings in my team, Paper J Crafts. She, um, she did a card recently, or well, two cards, and it was a masking technique, and she used the Bloom by Bloom stamp set, this one here, in similar colours to this and I just saw this card and I went wow I have to confess I have struggled not particularly with the stamp set as such but kind of but actually with the suite I love the suite but I've not been able to see beyond the colours and for me and I do like to think I've got quite an imagination I just couldn't it was like some kind of mental block love the punches use those all day long love the dots you use those all day long love the colours individually but I just couldn't not see stamping with this as a bright set. And it was almost as though Laurie's cards said, it's okay, you don't have to do that. And it released me from this weird kind of obligation. And so this is a real homage to her because her card was very much in this sort of style. It's a style I love anyway. And the colours were like this. So thank you so much, Laurie. Right, okay, so how did I do my wrap? I haven't got any, I have no notes in front of me. I just have a pile of pillow boxes. So I'm measuring it while it is flat. So I know that it is three and an eighth. Well, it's, I suppose it's technically, it's three inches. That's going to be seven and a half centimetres. So in order to have a wrap, I need to do that twice and have an overlap. So it's going to be six inches and a bit or it's going to be 15 centimetres and a bit, and you need the bit for gluing purposes. So, let me grab some Whisper White. Have I got any handy? Only a full sheet. So, I'm going to need to cut this. I'm going to cut it at... I'm going to make it six and a half. I'm going to make it six and three quarters, so I've got a good overlap. Okay. Now, how wide do I want it to be? Well, that's as much or as little as you want. So you can see, I, I don't know how well you can see. There are score lines, obviously, because that's how you put the pillow box together. There and there. So measure between the two, four inches, 10 centimeters, and decide how much you fancy. Well, I fancy it being about three inches give or take about seven and a half centimeters okay so this was my six and three quarters so i'm going to make that three inches that's the bit i'm going to wrap remember it's three inches round so you need to score it there but don't score it at three inches don't score it at seven and a half centimeters you need to go an eighth of an inch over okay so you're making it 7.7 7.8 and then scooch up again another so you're going up to the six inch mark but again six and an eighth actually want to make it six and a quarter okay so that's going to make it 15 and a half centimeters and then when you wrap it it's not gonna buckle at all it will just wrap nicely there okay easy peasy Right, I probably should have stamped that first, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh well, not to worry. Okay, I'm going to do different colours this time. But first what I like to do is I get a whole random selection. Did I just deafen everybody? Random selection of blocks and pull out the stamps I want to use. So I want to use that one. I want to use that one. I want to use that one. I want to use another little, another little one. I want to use that one. I should have another little block. Why is it not there? Oh well, I'll have to use the bigger one. And let's swap these over. That one. And let's pull in some colours. So I'm going to stick with neutrals. So I'm going to keep with these two Sahara Sand and Crumb Cake. And that. I'm going to go with Early Espresso rather than soft suede this time and then I want a couple of other colours and I fancied going green this time around although I've got one blue and one green 
So I'm definitely going to put in a green and I think I'm going to go with Paris Az because I think that looks quite nice. But shall I go with Mint Macaron as well? Yes, I think that would work actually because it's not a green green, it's sort of a blue green. Okay, so I've got my colours and I'm going to use the greens as the dark, as the biggest ones. And I'm just randomly going all over. Not worrying too much if there's overlap. That looks pretty good to me. I have one more down there. So that's mint macaron done. Put that away. Pear pizzazz. I'm going to come in with this one and splodge everywhere. Does anywhere else need it? Have a bit there. And I'm not worried about it overlapping at all. Okay, let's come in with another bigger one. I'm going to go smallest, the palest here. Sahara sand. I like to say I'm not worried about whether it overlaps or not. That's kind of half the effect. Because, you know, flowers overlap in your garden, don't they? Another one in there. Let's bring another one down there. There we go. And then crumb cake. Go with this one. And sort of begin to start filling in gaps. We can have lots of these little ones. They're just little flowers. It's all coming together nicely. And then finally, some early espresso. And this is my last image. And this is going to be a strong colour. And because it's quite so strong, I'm not looking for it to be perfectly aligned, but I want to get a sort of a reasonably even spacing of these flowers. <clears throat> so I'm kind of filling in the middle bit first, and then I will come round the edges after. I like this kind of random stamping. So actually that's going to get tucked away. Where else needs some down here? That's looking pretty good to me. There we go. So I'll put that away and then bring in my box and get this wrapped round. So I need to look for the front and back of it. Oh, here it is. This is the one I bent before. Where's the seam? There is the seam. So I want my seam to go round as well. So it's going to wrap around absolutely beautifully, just like that. So glue along here. That's my tarot. message no it's not somebody at your front door that would be a text message to me don't forget to put this those ones in first because you'll need to get your that's for your fingernails to grab hold of and then close up your pillow box just like that on there <laughs> that would be two text messages where's what do I do with them oh my ribbon's right underneath my arm and I'm going to make this, I'm going to tie this one with a square knot um, rather than a bow because it took me about 20 minutes to get that right. So I'm going to go with a square knot this time round. And then 
finally, just to finish off, a scatter of flowers. And I'm going to get mint macaron this time because you know why not? And this is this is from my scraps bin. I cut a card at the wrong size. Oops. There's three of those. And my little spongy mat. Back of my paper piercer into the centre. Why is that stuck to that? And then I'm going to go with some artisan pearls. Where have they gone? Here they are. Because I like the colour of them, and one of them is mint macaron. These are from the Share What You Love suite. So I'm mixing annual catalogue, 30th anniversary, and new. Why not? And sticking it to my finger. Glutos and one onto the back of each of those. And just a little trio scatter of them. And that I think is charming. So I haven't made the box, but I've done all the stamping. And I think that's delightful. I think that's a great easy little gift. You could put vouchers in there, sweeties, toiletries, anything. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.